Hey guys, what is up? It is Kyle here from Distant Gaming, and today I will be doing um, a base design. Um, if you're playing factions, or if you're doing suit PvP or something like that, teams, something like that, you know, you can just build this. Um, if you have the materials, it is. So well, let's get right into it. Start off with, I've got just a nice spawn point where you can set your home. Just slash set home or slash set warp if you're playing whatever it is, uh, suit pvp or what, I can't remember if it's that, but something like that. And then we got, we'll start off with this room, this is the potion room, where you have all your potion ingredients. It's got some lighting here from the, oh, the lantern pump, uh, I can't remember what they're called, let me check. Pumpkins, nope. I think it's a lantern maybe. Yeah, uh, ja ah, jack lantern, my bad. Yeah, so we've got some light from the jack lanterns. Um, you just get your water source, like you can get your, fill up your balls, like. Just fill up your balls of water there and then put them in your chest or something like that. And then brew, them all, brew your potions, obviously. I haven't done the roof of this part or any other part of the base. It's just water. Um, some redstone ahead. It's kind of expensive, like blocks, like quartz. There's a lot of quartz. There's leaves, redstone blocks, coal blocks, tons of it involved. Um, so yeah, that is the potion room. Um, I'll go right straight on next to the the chest room, the basic chest room. This is just the chest room for your storage or your iron and diamond armor, and armor, or just basic CPP armor, or something like that, swords, bows blocks, materials, anything like that, it's just for storage. You can smelt your mining stuff if you're playing teams and you want to go mining or something, or factions. Just smelt your stuff in here. You can label your chests. Um, this is just lava, just for the back design of the chest room. A bit of glowstone for the lighting. A bit of redstone also for lighting. Leaves behind here, just to give it a cool effect. Kill background, sorry. And yep. Yeah. Also, we've got some light in here in the spawn. If I say that, the close one gives us some light, so it's a really bright area. This this is basically just another copy from that one over there. Um, just the base is the same. So, uh, oh, no, it's just the same exact same room. It's just for storage as well. If, if you run out of storage in one room, it's just all storage here. Bit of lava right back here. You know, these behind the game, crafting tables, furnaces, anything you want. And on to the final room. This is the final room. So first of all, as soon as you, as soon as you come in, you notice the anvils. They are for repairing your armor, or combining, or renaming, or something like that. But your ender chest for storage of your valuables, maybe spawners, or really good armor as in probably V on breaking three or sharp bees or creeper eggs or golden apples or god apples or anything like that. Um like I said anvils um and then when you come in here you get the enchanting table, these are all level thirty. You can obviously adjust them if you want. You can just maybe you could just reduce reduce them if you want and just to get a lower enchantment or something like that. Just to so level 30 on one side, maybe level 20 on another, or something like that. For lower enchantments, or just not have any book cases here at all, just for the basic enchantments. So just enchant level 1 books and then combine. Um, and then yeah, so we've got some leaves here for the design. It doesn't look too nice actually, the leaves. I'm not a big fan of having that there. I might change that, or you can change that, if he's going to use it. Because I might use this base design for my next base. Um, just some water flowing down with half slabs, nether brick and quartz, uh, quartz slabs and um, some lava flowing down as well at the back and then water again over here and more leaves obviously and I maybe overused them a bit in the whole base but it doesn't look too bad it's a bit, the only room that's, I'd say is really compact at the moment is probably this one you might want to expand out a block maybe it's really compact um, so tight in space. Um, it does use a lot of materials though. Uh, a lot of coal, redstone blocks, quartz, um, quite a few lava buckets, water buckets, 
iron for anvils, obsidian for ender chests, or you can buy them, and go stone and wood and cobble and stuff like that. So yeah, that's. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, that's bait. That's my. That's my <laughs> that's my first base design. I hope you guys like this video. I will be uploading more base designs soon. I'm just in the middle of making another one now. Um, that will be up tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope tell me down in the comments if you like this series or if you just want rid of it and I can change it maybe to do factions episodes or something like that. Um, oh, just before you just before I end it, um, I'll just show you the texture pack that I'm using. I'm using. The Bob Marley pack. Um, I sometimes use the Nova's pack, Sir Nova. Um, he's a good YouTuber. Check him out as well. Um, yeah, uh, jack o' lanterns and stuff like that. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And um, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day, guys. Peace out.